Hello guys, welcome to another rant, another ramble, another drive, another journey with me <laughs> on this nasty March day. Yeah, the sun is shining for a change, but it's cold as hell. It's about 40 degrees and, and just 20 mile an hour winds again. Makes it hard to enjoy the outdoors. And it's odd because the sun is so strong. Where you know it's mid-March now. The sun is strengthening in uh, in heat. It's, it's a pretty hot sun. You walk into that sun, you warm right up. Uh, so it feels a lot warmer than 40 degrees. But man, when you when that wind blows, you get it. So I was reading how gastrointestinal issues seem to be an epidemic throughout the globe. Most of you know that it's because we're eating a lot of synthetic foods and, you know, the body is not programmed to digest synthetic food. It's, it, it's just not. Uh, and so this food is going right through us. We're not, we're not digesting it properly. And we're not getting the right nutrients. Um... So it's important that you eat right, you know, don't don't eat anything with a shelf life of five years, you know what I mean? Throw away the cans of tuna fish, throw away the, the, the hot pockets and the and the shit that 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 lasts for seven years. Because that tells you something. Why is that food lasting seven years? That doesn't seem right. You're preserved to death. Uh, but what I recommend as a cheap alternative to probiotics, a lot of these probiotic drinks and kombuchas and all that, they're pricey as hell. You know, yogurt, pricey as hell. Uh, man, I was at the supermarket yesterday and I can't believe how many people are buying yogurt, man. There are entire sections in the supermarket dedicated to kombucha and, and yogurt and, um, it's crazy man it's just everyone is eating bad food uh, so the cheap alternative a good probiotic to take every day is miso soup you can make it five dollars of ingredients will last you an entire week um, you need seaweed which is also good a lot of amino acids in that as well. A lot of people take probiotics, but they don't take amino acids. You need to take a lot of, you know, you need to take more than just a drink, a kombucha drink. <laughs> um, water break. You know, healthy eating. It's, the cheapest foods are the healthiest. Eggs, seaweed, miso I mean these are superfoods unlike some fruit which is very healthy but very pricey um, vegetables are pretty pricey but uh, mushrooms and things like that really help the digestive system and mushrooms are cheap seaweed is cheap go out and try it it's easy to make anyway I'm gonna go and park this car go walk through the woods for a good hour or two Spend some time in my natural habitat with the animals and the, and the foliage and my little pooches behind me are itching to get some air. Despite the cold, it's nice to get out. Hope everyone is well. Hope everyone is singing and dancing today. Enjoying the sun and remembering to have a nice glass of wine here and there. Smoke a joint. Uh, and, uh, you know, Take care of yourself, guys. Take care of yourself. We are living in a very turbulent time. We are just beginning to learn and reap from the effects of the industrial age. We are learning what technology and science can do, and that is heal and destroy as well. And we, you know, that's that's the, that's life. Trial and error. We are in the trial phase right now and in, in human in our in our our civilization is in the trial phase 
So there are a lot of errors. We're making a lot of errors, but we're gonna learn from them, folks. We are gonna learn from them. That is a guaranteed thing. All right, I gotta go. Sorry, I'm a, I'm rambling now. were a dangerous place today uh, if you've been following my videos I've been discussing the wind we've been having there are down trees everywhere everywhere I look and they're pretty uh, pretty big trees so I'm afraid a tree is gonna fall on me they're creaking and cracking you could hear them creaking <laughs> Okay, came across Cunningham Pond. Uh, nice little pond we have here by the woods. Uh, adjacent to a wetland and a woodland. So there's a lot of variety here. A lot of ducks, beautiful ducks. Gadwalls, the shovelers. But I got the shovelers last week, so I'm gonna try to get the gadwalls. And the only way to do it is to uh, sneak up on them because they're shy and they can't, you shouldn't let them see you for long. Ducks like this, mergansers, uh, they're very shy, so let's see if I can get them. They're still a little far away. I gotta wait. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Until they get closer. I want it, I want them to get closer. What, what do wildlife photographers say the most? I want to get closer. I can probably get a good shot, but... Uh, you know, as a wildlife photographer, we, we always have to top our own personal best. Uh, so, otherwise defeats the purpose but I don't have many gadwall shots so I, I may take the images anyway I think I got them baby they were far away though but you know if it was a bird that I already photographed before and I you know I photograph birds spe specific species of birds all the time whenever I see them especially beautiful birds but if I photographed a particular species of bird before, I always try to get a better image of it. Uh, I always try to top my personal best, like I said before. But in this case, I don't have any shots, any usable images that are worth publishing uh, or printing of that particular duck, the gadwall. They're beautiful. They, they look like they're made of uh, leather. They're just amazing. So I settled for this distance. I wanted to get closer. I could have gotten closer if I just waited because they, they, they do drift and uh, I was hoping they'd come to the other side of the pond. But for now, the old D50, the old D5500 and my 200 to 500 Nikon uh, will come and will, <laughs> will do its task, come to the rescue because you can really crop with this with this 24 megapixel sensor and, and the uh, the sharpness of the, the 200 to 500 is uh, impeccable and at that distance I'm not too worried uh, anyways here are the shots folks